hi guys welcome back to my channel my name is Indivan and today I'm in the kitchen with my mom we're going to be making a tea delicacy I don't know whether any other tribe eats this so let me know I could be wrong in tea we call this crystal logo which is tea for um <laughs> cassava akara <laughs> it has been me okay the version of um a car that is made with cassava stick with me just to be me right <laughs> and please hit the subscribe button okay so the first thing my mom is doing is peeling the cassava which is how you would prep normal prepping like how you would prep yam or anything and then you need to grate this this is so cute To get that local taste, it needs to be grated so that you can squeeze out all the water possible from this. Now I'm going to try a version with a blender some other time just to see if I'm going to get the same effect. But basically this is how the local recipe is made. You have to grate the cassava by hand or machine if you have one. Once you have a smooth paste like this, this is after your grating, as you can see even the plate already has a lot of water in it, you need to transfer this into a sieve cloth or a sieve bowl and you, a cloth is better actually because you need to take out everything what we like, you need to squeeze out all the water from this, like you need to squeeze, <laughs> this is key. <laughs> This is key to the recipe, I'm not joking, please squeeze out all the water because if you leave water in the cassava, it's just going to affect you when you are frying because it's scatter in the oil. So please squeeze out all the water and then this is the good and easy part, you're just going to spice this with onions, if you have a little bit of yaji, if you will, totally optional but the onions are quite key. If you don't like onions, I would suggest you, you know, kind of just put maybe onion powder so that you don't see the physical onions but onions and seasoning are quite key you can also add a bit of sliced pepper totally optional or pepper diaji if you see by the road in the they even sell it with um yeah they sell with pepper diaji so you can either fry with pepper or add pepper after that so after this see why i was talking about the squeezing of the water you guys mm. oh. so key <laughs> So you squeeze this out and you have to be, be careful so that you don't make it too big so that it fries well. So you just squeeze them out. Part of the whole crazy or logo thing is that fingerprint on it when you squeeze it. That's very key to the look, you know, the aesthetic <laughs> of the cassava akara and coat. So you squeeze this out nicely into little little pieces and just arrange them out. Make sure that there is no water initially if you know I, I said that. So even as you are squeezing you have to make sure that there is no water in it. I think I've, I've emphasized the need of no water in this paste. So you are going to put a little bit of oil in a pot or in a frying pan. It doesn't have to be too deep. Not as deep as pork pork obviously. And then you just drop your cassava molds into the oil and this fries lightly for a few minutes once it's light golden put and um fried <laughs> you take it out and your queso logo is ready now one i want to know if you've ever tasted this two where did you taste this and three if it's something you're going to try if you've not tasted it before <laughs> it is so nice and I don't know if any other tribe has, you know, eats this or has their own way of preparing it. Please let me know if there's another way you prepare this in your place. In the comment section, hit the subscribe button. My name is Indivan. Thank you for joining my mom and I in the kitchen today making crazy for our logo. <laughs>